Now is the time to worship God. Now is the time to give your life. God, just as you are to The Franciscan Friar prays off for masses for the following intentions. For the soul of K. Peter on the 40th day remembrance, on the birthday remembrance of Dorin Mary Aiden, for the soul of Malcolm Andrews, third day remembrance of Jerome de Rosario, Deceased members of D'Souza family by Lancy D'Souza family. Pamela David, sister of Andrew David, passed away yesterday. Mr. and Mrs. Maggie and Mrs. Charumuthi. Thanksgiving Mass offered by Laura Miano on the second birthday. Thanksgiving by Cheryl Sudarsan and family. Thanksgiving by Leonard Vinson and family. Special intention for a miraculous healing and recovery of Edward Chandra Babu by family members. For the good health and speedy recovery of Leonard Vinson by family members. Along with these intentions, let us pray for people who are suffering from coronavirus that May they experience the healing hand of God in their lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today the church celebrates the memory of St. Justin the Martyr. He lived in the first century and he was a person who was a seeker. He wanted to know the true knowledge. Therefore, he went after pagan philosophy and philosophers. But finally, after reading Christian philosophy and the scripture, he became a Christian and a first philosopher of the church. And he was killed as a martyr. So as we celebrate his martyrdom, through his writing, which are even read today, through his writing, he has fought against those pagans who denied Christianity. To participate in the Mass in a worthy manner, let us continue to defend Jesus in our own life for the times that we have failed. Let us ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, as Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the folly of the cross 
wondrously taught Saint Justin the Martyr, the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Peter, chapter 1, verses 2 to 7. May grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him who called to who called us to his own glory and excellence, by which he has granted to us his precious and very great promises, that through these you may escape from the corruption that is in the world because of passion and become partakers of the divine nature. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Your response, my God, in you I trust. My God, my God in you I trust. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, and abides in the shade of the Almighty, says to the Lord, my refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. Your response? My, my God, God in you, you I trust. trust. His love is set on me, so I will rescue him, protect him, for he knows my name. Your response? My, my God, God in you, you I, trust. I trust. When he calls, I shall answer. I am with you. I will save him in distress and give him glory. With length of life, I will content him. I shall let him see my saving power. Your response? My, my God, God, in you I, I trust. trust. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may consider the wonders of your law. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 1 to 12. Jesus spoke to the Pharisees in parables. A man planted a vineyard and set a hedge around it and dug a pit for the wine press and built a tower and let it out to tenants, and went into another country. When the time came, he sent a servant to the tenants to get from them some of the fruit of the vineyard. And they took him and beat him and sent him away empty-handed. Again he sent to them another servant, and they wounded him in the head and treated him shamefully. And he sent another, and him they killed. And so with many others, some they beat and some they killed. 
he had still one other a beloved son finally he sent him to them saying they will respect my son but those tenants said to one another this is the heir come let us kill him and the inheritance will be ours and they took him and killed him and cast him out of the vineyard what will the owner of the vineyard do he will come and destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others have you not read this scripture the very stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner this was the lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes and they tried to arrest him but feared the multitude for they perceived that he had told the parable against them so they left him and went away the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus, jesus christ. Dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may, may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good, good of all his holy church lord we thank you for this new day that you have given us we ask you to be with us throughout this day in all that we do our life and home our work and especially take complete care of us and protect each one of us may this eucharist bring upon us all the blessings that we need we make this prayer through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit lift up your hearts we, we lift, lift them up to, to the lord. lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is, is right, right and just, just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Father most holy through your beloved son Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured the passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim holy 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 holy, holy lord god, god of hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who god comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave thanks to God, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to presence and minister to, minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, George our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Lord, bless all the families who have offered Mass this day, accept their thanksgiving, listen to their prayers, and bless them. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of your resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Sebastian, Saint Justin the Martyr and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father in the words of Jesus. Our Father, our Father who, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress and worries, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, dear apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church that is gathered here, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. This is Jesus, the cornerstone, who was rejected, who has become our head. Happy are you who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring his life for us. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hunger to receive you sacramentally, but since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now, as I do when I actually receive you in Holy Communion. Never let me drift away from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attend you to the teaching of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
Prayer to St. Sebastian in time of pandemic corona. O St. Sebastian, faithful soldier of our eternal King, you remained courageous during the challenging times because you recognized the redemptive power in the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. You endured the pains of arrows that pierced your body because you had already been pierced by the sword of God's word into your soul. Thus, following our Lord Jesus Christ, you healed all people who have been suffering physically and mentally through plagues and pestilence. We have heard many testimonies of healing from people around the world, and we know in our own history that you have protected and healed people from black death and other pandemic diseases and restored them back to their normal lives with the nature, with their neighbors, and with our merciful Father. O true disciple of our divine physician, look upon your devotees who are afflicted heavily by the deadly virus of Corona. We have been deprived of many people's lives and relations. Being isolated from each other, we have become weak and vulnerable. Yet, like you, we dare to take refuge in the Lord rather than to trust in the power of this world, because it is God alone who is the author and perfecter of our lives. O holy martyr of our Christian faith, 
We remember gratefully all the generous and courageous people who have risked their lives to take care of the victims of this contagious virus. We ask you to bless them with good health. We request you to strengthen our faith and regulate our breath. Restore our sight to see the image of God in all creation. Purify our love that we love and respect our neighbors with dignity and honor. And give us a sincerity of heart to stretch ourselves in solidarity with each other as Jesus did to manifest the kingdom of God in our midst, where he lives and reigns with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Saint Sebastian, glorious martyr of Christ and unfailing hope of the afflicted, grant us good health to serve our God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Saviour, and by the powerful intercession of St. Sebastian, deliver us from the present affliction and fear of the pandemic virus corona. Merciful Father, graciously listen to our prayers and heal our infirmities of body and soul, so that knowing your forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in your saving help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us. May he protect us from all evil and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer to sins. Let's recite the Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the de deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most are your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for evil command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion, the adder, the young lion, and the serpent. You will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them with long life. I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, shall world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. Mary, our mother, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.